Hello, I'm Tony Vecchio, the Executive Director of the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, and I'd like to welcome you to our new Land of the Tiger exhibit. This spectacular new exhibit is home to two species of beautiful hornbills, both the wreath and the wrinkled, as well as two critically endangered pig species, the Visayan warty pig from the Philippines and the babarusa from the island of Sulawesi. The babarusa share their home with an always active pair of Asian small clawed otters. And of course, the stars of the show are our tigers, our Malayan tigers and our Sumatran tigers. Phase two of Jacksonville Zoo and Garden's Asian section has been part of our master plan for many years as tigers remain the number one requested animal by our guests. We wanted to feature tigers, hornbills, babarusa, and other Asian animals. Through a series of workshops, staff members from all departments, designers, and engineers determined the exhibit's setting, look, species, and guest experience. The planning lasted one year. We broke ground on April of 2013 and opened Land of the Tiger on Saturday, March 8th, 2014, the highlight of our centennial celebration. From the unique tiger trail system to the lush Asian plant palette, guests are truly transported to the Land of the Tiger. As they enter the exhibit, guests may be treated to a glimpse of the tiger hiding in a stand of bamboo, the most distant point within the over 1,000 foot tiger trail system. Wrinkled and wreathed hornbills fly and vocalize in their spacious woven mesh enclosures. Babarusa and small clawed otters can be viewed swimming, basking, and feeding together. Inside the climate-controlled Tiger Observatory, guests can get nose-to-nose -nose with a big cat, watch the tigers lounge at the waterfall's base, or even see the cats enjoy a plunge in the deep pool. At select times, the large wooden doors featuring donor recognition are slid back to reveal a tiger inside the fortified training stage and only a few feet from the astonished guests. One keeper demonstrates training and conditioning while another interprets the activity and answers questions from the crowd. Land of the Tiger's unique trail system provides the cats with opportunities that are not available to animals maintained in conventional enclosures. We were the first to include a purpose-designed trail system for big cats. Tigers in the trail can choose to explore, spy on our guests, run, climb, or even take themselves off display. Beyond the tiger trails, we include many other enrichment firsts for this exhibit. These items were put in place during the planning and construction. We have a bubble machine which produces meat-flavored bubbles for tigers, disguised as a palm trunk. Warty pigs can be groomed by guests with long-handled brushes through special access windows. A tiger lure system will run the length of one trail side. Our hornbill enclosure was specifically designed to promote and encourage flying. There's a heated pool for babarusa and otters where treats and toys can be injected by keepers on the guest side of the exhibit through specially designed portals. We can also control several water jets in the otter pool just for fun. Babarusa can be given access to part of the tiger trail and even be admitted into a vacant tiger yard in order to lay down their pig scent. This increased enrichment has proven beneficial to our tigers and since opening in March 2014, their diets have been increased twice. This is extremely atypical for adult zoo cats and we believe the extra exercise has made our animals healthier, hungrier, and more fit. Our guest experience in Land of the Tiger is one of full immersion. Guests are treated to surprising views of the big cats, sometimes perched above them or running in the straight stretches of the trail. Other times, the cats have chosen to descend to ground level, only feet away from the visitors. Guests can hear and smell the tigers through minimal but completely safe phantom mesh barriers. The climate-controlled main tiger viewing building is a multi-use space with its wide-angle vistas of both the east and the west exhibits, underwater and waterfall views. This building has hosted a wide array of events from Boy Scout sleepovers to black tigalas. Sumatran and Malayan tigers were selected because of their critically endangered status. Jacksonville Zoo and Garden supports all operational costs for a wildlife patrol unit in a Sumatran National Park that protects tigers, elephants, orangutans, and thousands of other species. Through crafted conservation messaging, on two digital screens, and face-to-face -face engagement with our guides, we provide our guests with the opportunity to connect with wild tigers beyond our gates. I've seen a lot of tiger exhibits around the world. This is one of the very, very best. There's a lot of 
soft space for these animals, an abundance of space, a complex naturalistic background, some of the most beautiful vegetation you'll see in any zoo. And the best thing is these climbing opportunities through the vertical pathways create volumetric space. So it's quite extraordinary what they've done here. And I think this is really gonna be successful for the tigers, the visitors, and the staff. The landscape and land of the tiger was designed and installed entirely in-house by our horticulture department. Perched high upon sculpted mud banks and rockwork planters that stretch the length of this exhibit are a variety of plants native to the animal's country of origin. Several varieties of elephant ear, banana, ginger, bamboo, and fan palm, many of which are new additions to our extensive plant collection, create a lush and tropical atmosphere. So, we are very proud of what we have accomplished with Land of the Tiger. We have created a space that is very special for the animals, but special for our visitors as well. I'd like to thank you for visiting the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens and our wonderful new Land of the Tiger exhibit.